So this week's upload schedule got really, really messed up. And it was especially bad on my part because I didn't even keep in contact about what was going on. But you had better believe that I wasn't sitting on my butt the whole time, and I'm about to prove it. But first, we have a little bit of bad news to talk about. When I use the phrase flavor of the week when referring to games, this is the sort of thing that I'm talking to. Unfortunately, it's not the flavor of this week, this was the flavor of the week several months ago. The Cycle Frontier, a PvEVP extraction game similar to Escape from Tarkov, the live service game published and developed by Jaeger, is unfortunately shutting down. They're using the term sunset, but I let's not beat around the bush. They're shutting down the game anyway. I don't know if they're shutting down their company. This unfortunately comes after a community manager that's pretty much hell-bent on destroying any semblance of a community rather than bolster it, as well as rampant cheating and a heavy focus in a direction that the players of the game just weren't very interested in, myself included. Now, I was actually a member of the second closed beta test for the Cycle Frontier, and other than a couple of obnoxious technical issues, it was a pretty decent game. You go down to this hostile alien planet, gathering materials in the form of old technology, mineral deposits, and plant resources while battling the aggressive wildlife, as well as other players who are on the planet trying to do the same thing as you. I had fun with it. It had a lot of quality of life things that Escape from Tarkov doesn't have. For example, a map. As well as when you're playing with other people in a group, they are marked properly. So there's basically no chance of any friendly fire, which is a very, very big thing in other extraction shooters like this. If they had put less emphasis on PvP, I really think that this could have been something. The problem with PvP and this sort of thing is that any opportunity for people to get competitive with one another, they'll take it. And it's very difficult to balance a game around that sort of thing. And the type of balance that you need comes in the form of making everything fair. Now, the time to kill in Escape from Tarkov is incredibly low. Meaning that you can get shot with just about any weapon in that game and die from it. Under the right conditions, of course. But that means that people who have been playing the longest are every bit as vulnerable as the people who have been playing for the least. But that doesn't fly in the cycle. So it's very easy to find yourself in a situation where the gear matters. There are tons of encounters that you just don't have a chance in because you don't have the level of equipment that they do. And that sort of thing discourages new players from getting into the game and makes what should be a minor loss into a major loss. Now, I don't ever really go into these sorts of live service projects hoping that they fail. I really did see a lot of potential in this, and it's really unfortunate to see them have to shut the game down. Even now, you see a bunch of, of new comments on the Steam store page saying that, you know, just make the game PvE. And I really think that the biggest thing to contribute to its lack of players is miscommunication and a poor method of dealing with cheaters. But that kind of goes into what I want to talk about. It, there are a lot of situations where you might be playing an MMO or a live service game and notice that it just doesn't have the followers or the players that it needs to kind of stay afloat. There are some instances of a single whale keeping a project like this alive, but those are kind of the exception and not the rule. So what are you supposed to do? If you find yourself really enjoying something, how do you how do you help it? How do you help keep the lights on? Even if you're not necessarily bringing in new players, how do you make sure that 
your game of choice is able to continue to operate. Now, this time I'm genuinely asking because I have absolutely no idea. I've been there around for countless shutdowns and it never feels better. You never get used to it. So if you have any ideas of ways that you could help support your MMO slash live service game of choice, please let me know down in the comments below. Just ideas. Something that maybe we can share around so that we don't have to see games with lots of potential and a dedicated fan base lose to the ever moving machine of business. But that's going to do it for me. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great weekend. I don't normally upload on weekends, but um, again, this week has been a mess, and I'm in the process of fixing it. So I'll see you all tomorrow.